Hey everyone, this is Chris Marlow with Help One Now. I'm with Lamar Stockton. He is our international director. Lamar oversees all of our communities around the world. And we are very excited to, um, to come to you today with a really, really important update from Help One Now. Many of you know, a few years ago, we had this dream with our local partners in um, South America to help um, create a village that would fight um, trafficking and help survivors um, find hope and love and restoration and we are uh, we've been working for many many years um, with our leaders um, with people like you who have donated who have taken um, trips down there and uh, we are so excited to really share with you um, really some really breaking news and this is the first time we've gone public with this breaking news and so a few things just to be really really clear we're not going to say names um, and we're not going to say where we're doing this at because we want to protect the individuals we also want to protect our partners and so if you're wondering why we're being general um, this is why we're being general but Lamar is actually going to share uh, one of the most important phone calls that we've ever received in our 10 years of doing work with Help One Now and our leaders around the world. Lamar. Yeah thanks Chris. Uh, yeah so Thursday Thursday night I got a call from from one of our leaders on the ground who said I just need to let you know that we uh, the government is bringing us a 14-year-old girl. We're bringing her into the village tonight. Uh, this is happening now. This is what we've worked towards. This is what we've prayed for. Um, it was it was a beautiful message and a sobering message at the same time. Uh, we're we're excited and we want to celebrate that that this young girl has a place that's safe. But at the same time, it's it's hard to to know that she needs that place so much. And, uh, and then by the end of that night, um, they actually brought three girls in and, and there will probably soon be more to come. So we have uh, two 14 year old girls that um, were actually trafficked a few years ago and have been um, you know, suffering for a while. And thankfully they are safe. Uh, they are uh, in the process of just, you know, a real slow process of, of being restored and, and loved by our leaders on the ground. Yeah. Um, and go ahead, Chris. Yeah, so it was interesting. I mean, um, from a Help One Now level, when our leader called and told us the news, there was really excitement because this village that many of you have worked so hard um, to, to raise money to build so we can use it um, to help bring um, restoration and hope to those who have suffered much. It's just sitting there empty for, for about eight months to a year. It's, uh, you know, we're wrestling with government and getting signatures and, um, you know, it's just really painful to raise money and not be able to use um, this village to make an impact. And so when we got the call from our, our leader, we were um, very excited and thankful and also very devastated. Um, and so the, the first um, young girl was 14 and that was pretty rough. Um, I have two teenage daughters, and so 14-year-old um, is, is rough. Then we found out we had a second 14-year-old, as Lamar said, but then we found out we had an 11-year-old who was rescued. And um, her story, and all of their stories are theirs to tell. So one of the things we're trying to do is help you understand what's going on and the evil that we're fighting, um, but also protect them and their dignity. So um, it is, um, you know, one of the realities is simply this. We found out that this trafficking ring um, is targeting 12 year olds and they, um, they basically bring them in um, forcefully into a community and then um, they, they put them in forced prostitution and they make significant amounts of money all for the lives of these young kids. And so when we think about injustice and why the Help One Now community shows up to do good and to love people and to fight evil. Um, this is about um, as, as deep as it gets. We literally are fighting injustice in South America from those who want to use these girls um, to make money for themselves and to literally throw away their lives. So we are so thankful that the village can be a place of hope and rescue and restoration. We're so angry that we even have to have a freaking village to do this. And so Help One Now community, well one, thank you for showing up and providing um, really a place for these kids. Um, we do know the 11 year old uh, was taken in and she literally um, escaped her captors um, and was found in the, and in, 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 we can't get into all the details, but like to think about an 11 year old literally um, having to escape is devastating. And so 
This and, and now she's found refuge, which is which is a beautiful thing. Yes. So. Yep. We are very very uh, thankful that we can provide aftercare for the survivors, but we also understand that that's expensive, and so it's mm-hmm. worth it. Every dollar is worth it. It doesn't matter if it's a billion dollars or a million. These are kids created in the image of God, and they deserve love and rescue and restoration. And we're going to show up to make sure they have that. So we have a donor who is giving $50,000 of matching funds. So your impact is gonna be doubled um, this holiday season. So this is a time for you to step up and help these girls as you always do. And Lamar will kind of share some of the numbers. So $20 will cover this holistic, deep care uh, for the for these survivors for one day. So with the matching funds, your one day turns into two days. $140 will cover a week, $600 will cover a month, and if you want to do a full year, uh, about $7,000. And, and all of that will be matched, like Chris said, up to $50,000. We really want to start this place uh, from a place of thriving uh, so that we do not have to cut any corners at all uh, and care for these for these girls. Thank you, Lamar, for the numbers. Help One Out community, we love you. We thank you that you always show up to help people who are hurting and who are broken. And we will walk with these girls and many others down the road um, because of your generosity and you literally create the foundation for us to be able to do the work in partnership with our brilliant leaders all over the world and in this case in South America. And so thank you. Um, if you have any questions, please let us know. And um, once again, we were able to show up and help three kids begin to be restored and have a new life and a new hope. We love you. We appreciate you. Y'all have a great day. Together we're making a difference and together we're building a more beautiful world.